What's going on you guys? Appreciate you guys being back for another video. Today we got another product review. Uh, we're going to take a look at the Senlita Dragon X8 uh, compound hunting bow. want to thank the company Senlita for sending this out to me for a review. Uh, like I always do, want to fully disclose that this product was sent out to me for an honest review here on the channel. And today we're going to kind of go through its paces, just give you a quick overrun of kind of the specs on it, the components on it, and uh, you guys will be here for the very first shoot. Probably gonna start here about 10 yards or so just to make sure we can get it on the target. We'll make some small adjustments and then uh, see how quiet it is, see how well it groups, see how well it shoots. But wanna go over a few things with you real quick. First, wanted to show you just a quick clip of how it came from the factory, how it was delivered to me. Um, really nice packaging. So you can see here how nicely packaged this bow comes from the factory comes in this cardboard box of course get a nice soft bow case with it you can see here got a stabilizer that we'll put on got your quiver comes with the release comes with the wrist strap it's your arrow rest right here and it comes with a five pin sight with a light We'll get into this more just a little bit later. I'm not gonna bore you guys with an assembly video. There's tons of videos online. How to put these parts on this bow, how to put parts like this on any bow. Uh, it also comes with a dozen carbon fiber arrows, fully fletched with knocks. Um, just an awesome setup for the price point. Really anxious to get this thing put together and see how well it shoots and see if it's worth the money. This here is a full hunting kit, guys. You guys buy this in the link below, and this right here will get you from package delivery to being able to hunt in no time. One thing that I want, do want to disclose, I've seen on some other videos, uh, people don't think that this light works, but unscrew this cap. That's where your battery is, of course. There's a small piece of plastic in there that basically just prolongs the life of your battery so it's not touching the terminals during shipping. Take that piece of plastic out and your light works fine. So if you get up in the tree stand, you don't want to ever hunt with your quiver on or if you're used to not shooting with the quiver on, take the quiver off, just a quick cam lock twist. And then it's got a place up here where you can hang that from a location in your tree stand. So like I say, guys, a full hunting kit here, everything that you need to get started. Uh, they have the camo version, which is what I picked. And then they also have an all black version so you can take a look there they also have some target uh, compound shooting bows as well um, those look pretty nice a lot longer axle to axle this one here i'm a big fan of 30 inch axle to axle and that's what this is big cam so i've kind of drawn it just in the basement just kind of messing around with it i'm guessing i probably have it around 60 to 62 pounds right now this does go from zero to 70 pounds and it can be fully adjusted from an 18 inch to a 31 inch draw length uh very flexible from anywhere from you know probably uh probably a grade school kid uh older grade school kid all the way you know up to someone my age or even older getting started into archery uh just a a real nice setup here and we'll see how she shoots i haven't shot it yet uh, you guys will be with me to take first shots and just see what we think the nice thing about this is you do not have to have a bow press to change the draw length that is great so you know you can set this up uh, for your kid or you can set it up for parents older people whatever it might be but a lot of bows these days you have to have a bow press uh, to change the draw length this one you do not it also comes with a wrist release or an index release index just means you're using your index finger uh, I have a couple of these that you know I would I would definitely use instead of this I haven't used this yet of course but I'm just using everything today that came with the kit so I can give you guys an honest review just common sense stuff these arrows are going to be too long for me I already know uh, so you know you want to cut those down get those to size for you and one thing that I see before we kind of get started here um, this suppressor here what call that a suppressor but what that does that that string is going to hit that every time you shoot uh, typically those are served in just because after 100 shots 200 shots those, that string is going to start to fray just a little bit so after i start to use it a little bit i will serve that in serving is just kind of this thicker stuff here um, serve that in so it kind of protects the string just a little bit better 
But I'm going to shut the camera off here real quick, get the release on, and uh, we'll shoot a few at this target, and then back up to 20 yards and see how we do. All right, guys, we got an arrow knocked. Um, like I mentioned earlier, it does come with 12 carbon fiber arrows, fully knocked, fletched, and does have filled tips on it. So that right there alone, you know, that's quite a bit of money by itself, just 12 uh, dozen arrows. Um, the release, it uh, is fully adjustable. It's got some adjustments here. I haven't changed anything on it yet. Today we're just going to play around with it, shoot it, and uh, see how it does. There's no string dampeners on here, so you could put, you know, some spider webs up here is what I call them. That kind of takes some of the vibration out and quiets things down just a little bit. But we're just shooting it straight out of the box today, and we're going to see how it is. The peep sight is fully served in. Did a really good job on that, it looks like. I like the looks of that. So overall, pretty sweet little setup. Let's pull back on it here, see what the back wall is like. And that release is probably gonna be a little bit long for me. Shoot it once with that, and then I'll probably make a change. Uh, we'll see what the draw cycle feels like, see how smooth it is. Hopefully we hit the target. Ooh. That's nice. Got good lead off. Like I say, that's that's probably 56 to 58 pounds, I'm thinking. Something like that. Do have to adjust my peep just a little bit. I'm gonna have to change the length on my release here. Shorten that up just a little bit. I think my draw length's gonna be okay for now. Get that, get that adjustment made on my release, and then I'll shoot one. All right, got the release uh, shortened up just a little bit. What I would do, um, what I'll probably do is cut some of the slack off of this and uh, shorten that up just a little bit. But pull this back again. You guys kind of heard me say it there. I was kind of surprised how smooth that draw cycle is. Twist this peep around. But that felt good just the first time pulling it back with the release on. Yeah, that's nice. See if I can get my nose to the string. Good there. Take these sunglasses off and we'll shoot one. Get my peep straightened up here. Man, that's surprising. Touch my nose to the string. Probably slide that peep down just a little bit for my liking. Pretty quiet, man. Good back wall, nice smooth draw cycle. And we'll touch one off here and see what it sounds like. Man, I don't know how that sounded on the camera, but that was quiet. <laughs> nice, that's really surprising. Wow, the camo is really good. I don't see any, you know, bubbles in the paint or the wrap. Uh, I did want to point out that the limbs and the string are actually made in the US, made here in the United States and then actually exported to China uh, for production with the rest of the bow. Like I mentioned it's 30, 30 inch axle to axle makes it real easy to you know pack around the woods, real easy to use in the tree stand, tight quarters, things like that. Pretty surprising. I think the price fluctuates a little bit on their website but take a look and click that link down below right now this full package everything included uh, 269 bucks I mean if you're looking to get into hunting looking to get into bow hunting take a look at this I'm gonna shoot some more we'll shoot some more here but 
man that's that's pretty smooth for 269 bucks pretty sweet we hit the target there so i'm gonna go pull these two arrows out we'll scoot back to 20 and then we'll shoot a group and just see how it does i need to move this peep down just a little bit for me um make a change there I'm gonna see where it's hitting at 20. I might need to raise this sight just a little bit because it's shooting a little bit high. Uh, but we'll take a look, see what it's see what it's like. Go pull these arrows out. All right, move back here to 20 now. Hopefully you can hear me. It's starting to get a little windy out here again. I don't know what it's like where you guys are at, but man, it seems like this spring has just been windy all the time and it's just a muddy mess out here. Raining nonstop. So we'll shoot just a little bit here. And uh, I'll need to make some adjustments whenever I start using this some more. But today I want to do this initial overrun with you guys so you guys could kind of see what I thought of it, what it sounded like, what it looked like. And uh, overall, really surprised so far. Shoot a few here. Nice. A little to the right there. I'll just shoot three here, see how it does. It's kind of like a, a whisker biscuit type rest. That's actually what I started with years and years ago. Nice thing about this is you can buy this setup, get comfortable with it. One, make sure you like bow hunting or you like shooting a bow. And then as time goes on, you already got the bow, the frame, you can, you know, put a custom rest on it, whatever, you know, high dollar rest on it, change your sight, change your quiver, change your stabilizer, new strings, just kind of like Legos for adults, kind of like building AR-15s. Um, but really, really happy with it, really surprised with it so far. Shoot another one here. Just above it. Man, thing seems quiet to me. All right, let's go take a look and see where those fell. All right, I mean, we're only talking 20 yards, but definitely need to make an adjustment to the left, but <laughs> that's a dead deer all day long. So they rate this at an IBO rating of 310 feet per second. That would be accounting for the longest draw length possible and the limbs being tightened all the way down, which would put it at 70 pounds, probably just barely under that, like 68, 69. That's typically how it goes. Uh, like I mentioned right now, we're probably in the upper 50s, I would guess. A few things I'll do before I start using it more, you know, I'll probably, uh, I'm definitely gonna change to my release just because that's set up for me the way, the way it already is. Uh, make an adjustment to these sights. I might play with that peep just a little bit, might lower that, um, but I think it should be fine. Um, but overall, guys, just really surprised with this. I uh, really like the fact that you can make changes to the draw length without a bow press. A lot of people don't just have a bow press laying around the house. Uh, so that's nice. Make sure and wax your strings whenever you get it. Um, but yeah, guys, it just helps out the channel. If you take a look at the link down below, if you want to buy it through there, helps out the channel, helps keep us going, allows me to keep putting out new videos. Um, but I would buy this with confidence. Like I've always said, I'll say it again, you know, I don't review or promote stuff or, you know, put things out just for money. You know, I only put stuff that I truly believe in on the channel. 
guy like me that's you know already shooting a carbon Hoyt bow you know I'm not gonna put the Hoyt on the wall and start shooting this um, but what I probably will do is set my daughter up for this or I've got a buddy that's thinking about getting into bow hunting so we'll see if you know maybe if he likes it and uh, get him set up you know change the draw length get it dialed in for him and see how he likes it but uh, I'll be using it more just kind of tinkering with it and um, target practicing with it some more but overall I'd be confident putting anybody behind this bow uh, this is nicer than the bow that I started out with years and years ago uh, just the advancements in technology and uh, you know these lightning fast speeds these days things are much better than they used to be and Fred Bear used to kill one with a stick and string so <laughs> this is definitely gonna be able to put down a, a deer for you or whatever you're hunting just an awesome little setup here for 269 bucks everything that you need one click of a button and you got a full hunting package gives you plenty of time before season gets here start sighting it in getting used to it getting your fundamentals down and uh, being confident before you head to the tree stands so any questions at all make sure and comment down below I'll try to get back to those as soon as I can. And there's probably going to be some more videos on this here in the future at some point. So keep an eye out for those. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Happy hunting. Be safe. See ya. Bye.